What will Galactic Conquest be like in Star Wars Battlefront 3? Let's talk about that today on the Star Wars Battlefront 3 show. One of the best spawns of the Battlefront series is undoubtedly the Galactic Conquest game mode. But how will this game evolve throughout future Star Wars games? More importantly, how will this game mode evolve in one particular game, Star Wars Battlefront 3? Hey guys, what's up? I'm Cyber Ace Gaming, and welcome back to the Star Wars Battlefront 3 show. Here we cover all the latest Battlefront news and discuss different Battlefront related topics. As I said today, we're talking about Galactic Conquest, so let's jump right into it. Galactic Conquest is a serious factor to consider when thinking about any Battlefront related game, and it isn't hard to figure out why. The game mode simply adds hours upon hours to playtime and has plenty of replayability, allowing players to play as one of four factions while you battle across the galaxy to achieve your goal of total Galactic Conquest. With each game playing hours upon hours to complete, and with four different factions to play as, you could easily add days of extra playtime to the game, and that's without even repeating the same scenarios. Spending a good deal of my childhood playing these games, I can honestly say I've spent more time playing Galactic Conquest than any other Battlefront game mode, including the campaign. All that being said, it'd be stupid for whoever develops Battlefront 3 to leave out such an integral game mode. It's probably safe to say that if Battlefront 3 does come out, we'll most likely be seeing a Galactic Conquest mode. In fact, we know for a fact that Free Radical, the first developer of Battlefront 3, was working on Galactic Conquest, and we know this from leaked concept art that is surfaced on the internet. You should be seeing this art on the screen currently. Now that we've covered the importance of this game mode, how can Galactic Conquest improve? The game mode was already pretty solid, but there was certainly room for improvement, some things large and others small. Here's a few ideas I have on how the game mode can improve and evolve to modern day standards. Land and Space Battles They really should be one and the same. In fact, we know that this was the direction that Free Radical was going in, but it's been said that this technology might die with the company. Personally, I don't see it as too hard of a technology to implement, and I think it would definitely increase the fun of Galactic Conquest. I just don't think a space battle should decide if I am able to attack a planet or not. Realistically, a fleet would be there with the main purpose of deploying units for the assault, not to wage a full-on space battle, so it's likely that a battle would be going on in the sky and on the ground at the same time. I think the status of the ongoing space battle should perhaps affect the number of reinforcements we receive, rather than having a preliminary battle to decide if the planetary invasion even occurs. Nonetheless, there is nothing more I would enjoy than taking out space frigates when my friend simultaneously leads a ground assault on the enemy base. Just think of the possibilities. Multiplayer Now at first when I imagined a multiplayer galactic conquest, I thought of it being just like the co-op playing against or alongside one other player while you fight for control of the galaxy. Like Battlefront 2, besides you and that other player, everyone else is an AI. However, in a recent video from a viewer named Tommy Zums, he brought up the awesome idea of each army being made up of actual players. The strategic decisions could be voted on or selected by somebody who is somehow elected or designated as the commander of the faction. Shout out to Tommy because that is an absolutely fantastic idea. Imagine a 64 on 64 all out war across the Star Wars planets. At that point, might as well rename the game to Goodbye Call of Duty. Time Error Galactic Conquest did its best to stay canon to the world of Star Wars, but if I can make stormtroopers take over the entire galaxy, then why can't I make clone troopers fight rebels or play as droids in the forest of Endor? Depending on the era you chose in Galactic Conquest, the playable factions and available planets changed. While it's cool to play out the scenarios, I think it would be a lot of fun to be able to mix and match these things, but that's just my opinion. Now, of course there are plenty of basic stuff to implement that I didn't include. New locations, more bonuses, etc. But I feel as though I've highlighted some of the most important things that I would personally like to see in Battlefront 3's Galactic Conquest. Now, as always, I must thank you for watching the Star Wars Battlefront 3 show, and we can still make this game happen if we show some output from the community, so be sure to go over and like the Who Else Wants Star Wars Battlefront 3 Facebook page to support the campaign. As always, I'm Cyber Ace Gaming, and subscribe to the channel for all of your Battlefront 3 news and discussions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in...
the next video. Leave a comment down below tell me what you think of Galactic Conquest in the previous games, what you want to see in the new games, and what you thought of the video. Again, thanks for watching.